Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I saw another question on the forum and Daniel is talking about setting up ink cloth properties. Basically he just kind of go through that he wants to get his cloth look like this uh, this one on the left side where draping over the uh, the car. But whatever he does, it doesn't get that feeling for it. And someone else suggested actually um, to check the resistance attributes and then maybe want to try it out like a preset such as a silk. And he also said the scene scale will matter, which I do agree. Um, he ended up trying some stuff, but um, he said it didn't really help with the presets until he changed the scale relation to world space. I figured I'd kind of go through this. What he does is kind of, I don't know, maybe it, do, it, it did help, but let's kind of go through what exactly um, changed. So I downloaded a, a car from Turbo Squid. So I'm just gonna import that guy in. So this car, it's a bit tricky. So I'm just gonna do a, um, little bit of cleanup real quick. I'm just going to do you combine it, delete history, scale it up a bit. Uh, I think maybe I'll do group. Now I'll do scale. Kind of want to scale from the ground. And let's see. Gonna need to do um, a couple subdivisions. Now the reason I'm doing a subdivision is because it's such a low res. The corner is going to cost me some trouble. And once I do some subdivision, this is probably not what you want to do, but you know I'm just doing it to be fast. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick smooth that I smooth out like the uh, edges real quick. What ideally you probably wanna just start doing camphor on the on the edges, but because you know this one is I just got it and it's lo really low poly, so that's what I'm going to do. And now that's there, let's create a plane. I'm just going to move up the plane a bit. Let's change some settings here. So I'll probably do something like that. I know the number of what I want for this, but I'm going to do 100 for now. And then we'll talk about it. adding the color and create in cloth, create collider. Then what we're going to do, oh boy. Now the car is actually quite a bit of poly. It's like 100,000 points. <laughs> All right, okay, that's not too bad. Let's, uh, I'm going to just create a plane, friction to one. All right, so I think we can do this one real quick. Oh, oh we could just submit. I, should, I lost the color, so I'm going to do that again. That it's should I add the color afterwards. All right, uh, 120 frames should be all right. And then let's simulate. So notice this is quite slow, mainly because by default, end cloth is simulating in meters. And so generally for us, the first things I change is the space scale. 
And I think that's kind of what the guy was saying, you know, the, the world scale probably matters. Um, point on one, it's pretty low. So, I mean, we're divided by 100. So you see how fast the cloth is moving now. Uh, it's gonna cause some problems, but that's okay. We'll, we'll kind of go through with it. So remember, we haven't changed any settings yet. Uh, at this point, this is kind of just default setting. So the next step, we're gonna, we'll do the silk. Okay. So a couple of problems that I'm running into is the collision doesn't seem so good, right? And I also am not getting whatever the wrinkle that I was hoping to get uh, from from here. So maybe let's say I'll open a new. And then I will just zoom in a bit. I'll come back there later. First thing first, I'm just going to change to silk. Yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy. We'll crank up the friction. Uh, but the reason I'm doing that because the friction on the ground, if it's low, it's gonna, it will kind of crumbled up inside and then stretch down to 10. With the preset, it changed from link to object space. I think in the form, the guy original post changed to world space, which I guess is kind of okay too. But I, I suppose anything but link because the link really calculates some in a local space kind of way. So I feel like we're getting somewhere. There, there's a bit of Ringo coming in, yeah. Still have collision issues, which uh, we'll address. And there's a lot of crumbling parts too. So going to escape and then there's a couple things I'm going to do. Going to do the self collision with fourth surface. Thickness, I think, should be all right. Just gonna double check here. We're gonna need a lot more subdivision points. So I'm gonna do 15, 20 for now. And let's just double check with the collision on this as well. So this one's. Not too bad. I'm also going to change the friction to one. All right, let's try it again. This should get us pretty much there. Let's, let's see the result. Obviously I've done this before and um, I'm just going to walk through again with you guys. Yeah, so some nice wrinkles are coming in, which is quite nice. And mind you, this, uh, once you get more dense of cloth, uh, simulation is going to be slow unless you are using, you know, some other solver such as uh, Houdini or carbon plugins but yeah within cloth and sometimes it just it's kind of unfortunate it gets a little bit slow but it definitely gets the job done it, with at least something like this you don't have any spatial collision type of things that you got to worry about okay it kind of get us a little bit there let's see let's go back and look at in comparison so I notice 
our bottom part is already jaggy, right? So then we're getting some folds, but we're getting the, the smaller folds, but we don't get the, the bigger folds. And sometimes that's just, you know, you kind of have to just try different type of settings. And this simulation is really slow, um, even when I tried it before. So we got a couple issues. We, we solved the issue around the, uh, the mirror. So that seems quite good. That, that was just simply need to turn up the substeps and collision. But yeah, this part looks kind of weird. Uh, I feel you might have to just go back and I don't know, you just move them out and whatnot. Um, doesn't seem logical to try to sim them out. I don't think you can just because um, because the NCLOT is doing the quads, they only take, you know, four sides polygon instead of more organic way of like three sided polygons, like, you know, like some other softwares. So um, then you, you get kind of these kind of weird look in order to fix it. Again, you just got to do more subdivisions. So I have another scene that I already simulated. So I'm just going to show you what my result looks like so only the difference with this scene is well one i already simulated there is a cache for it uh, secondly i subdivided uh, the cloth again so just kind of take a mental picture or you know if you can rewind back the video of how much wrinkle this is giving us then then we'll compare it to the one that I'm going to open now, you will see we get so much more details. And that's kind of like, you know, when, when, when the original post, uh, he's talking about like, you know, just doesn't look, doesn't look right to me. I feel like if, when you look at this and when you look at what he is going for, simply just need a lot more density a lot more than generally that you wouldn't think about so and, and that's kind of what i want to want to do this video because i think when i started learning with cloth simulation that was the thing i realized too it's like oh why is it always so slow but it's because they need these wrinkles nice details and s stuff like let me just zoom in again. Stuff like here, you know, you have these like subtle uh, folds compared to just these big folds. You know, you have like big one and a smaller one and then just a little bit something here and there kind of breaks it up. All that stuff is really nice. But in order to get that, you just need more density on the cloth to, to get the same look. And as you saw, I already did 100 by 100 subdivision when I create uh, the grid. And the new scene, I actually did 200 by 200. Uh, and let's check it out how big the... Yeah, see how dense that is uh, compared to what we have before. And this is what, like, I guess like 40,000, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's a 40,000 poly count. So you could go double if you want, but th let's check it out what the result looks like. So see, even with this, I'm already getting that, I don't know, silky curtain type of look, right? You get so much more uh, compared than, than the one before. And maybe this is too much, so we could, possibly dial back but it's something to to be aware of obviously it's always better to have too much than too little and again remember that I mentioned about the jaggy edge on the bottom so I, I think those parts I would just I would just smooth that out instead of trying to worry about you know simulate them out I think I would need to raise the subdivision again for the cloth around the mirror because right now it's a bit broken 
see and uh, and yeah and that point maybe you uh, by default i think the stretch resistance is 60 for uh the silk and what i did was i just cranked up to 200 and then you can lower too i, I actually lower the comp compression resistance to 0 0.1 and and yeah and then i just kept everything else as is so i guess what i'm trying to say is I do think the preset it's pretty good. I wouldn't say they're accurate, but they they do. I have tried them out before. They do kind of get, I don't know, say eighty percent what you wanted, and then you kind of dial in a little bit more from there. But um, but you know they do work once you get the space scale correct, and that's kind of what that like, usually my my starting point is. You you kind of want to figure out how big your scene is how big your cloth is and then you set your space scale sometimes not just about 0 0.01 you can do the 0 0.1 as well and then that's going to give you a different look right and then yeah you then you try it out and then you dial in with your settings so but that's going to be it guys i hope um, that helps some of you guys and then you know and good luck in the future take care bye bye